guys, welcome to Ditsy's Diamond Den. Today we are going to be unboxing one of my Black Friday hauls, Memento Mori, which is a square in a 45.1 by 62.7 centimeter. Um, this is from Diamond Art Club and it does have the uh, scan for the 10% off and your kit and instructions here on the back. If you are new to Diamond Art Club and you do plan on having a stash, I do highly suggest that you leave your plastic on the box to prevent the box um, from deteriorating over time. I was not leaving my plastic on and I did have one of my really, really um, big Diamond Art Club paintings kind of like, I want to say implode. But it did start coming apart just a little bit because the contents of the package were so much. I just couldn't hold it. That was on Magic Potion, which is a really, really big one. So as soon as I outsmart this box, which I might not do. We might be here for an hour or so. Oh. <laughs> or we can just use muscle so inside the box we are going to get a little sticker um, which some people put on the sides of their boxes I do not I actually just label them with my label maker and it has all your information this is by Ricky Sophia Reiking um, I'm so excited about this one I've never done one by this particular artist and these reds and those horns I am so excited about they do come with a toolkit inside of all of your Diamond Art Clubs, including the ones that you may get um, from their Amazon shop. Diamond Art Club does have an Amazon shop where you can buy smaller ones that are a little less expensive if you just want to give them a try. It comes with some plastic baggies. It does come with some washi tape, and you do use these to section off your diamond paintings and use a ceramic knife to cut out uh, small squares for you to work on. And that one is a new one and that is pretty. I do not use washi tape, but I do appreciate the way they look. It does come with a diamond pin applicator with a finger squishy and a four and a seven multi-placer. If you are wanting to learn how to multi-place, check that out in my tutorial page. It does come with two wax hearts, yes. Although I suggest that you do kind of, if you're really into diamond painting and you're loving it, you know, I would suggest trying to see there's so many different options out there for the pink wax, like putties and other types of wax and glue dots and all kinds of stuff. You do come with tweezers in the squares. You will not get tweezers in your rounds. It comes with cover minders and I got the pink macaroon. The cover minders are different also every time you open one and it does come with a tray and an applicator. So I'm gonna pull out the actual canvas. We are gonna find some more stuff, even more stuff inside of this. And if you have been liking my content, please like and subscribe. I definitely appreciate it. And I always appreciate comments. I do keep track and try to respond to my comments just as quickly as I can. Okay, so the last one I unboxed was like huge. So this one feels so itty bitty even though it is not itty bitty. Now I do know some people have sound sensitivity so I am gonna give the drills to Dear Helper. It's gonna run into the other room. So you don't have to listen to that and bring them back. This is a poured canvas. So I can roll this backwards. They do, their other companies use double adhesive, although that is getting more and more rare in the diamond painting community. And you cannot roll double adhesive diamond paintings backwards. So there we go. And she's upside down. So inside of this, oh, she's even more gorgeous than I thought she was going to be. Wow, okay, back to business. We get a thank you for your purchase with instructions uh, and all kinds of other information if you're new to diamond painting. 
you're not new to diamond painting, you've already seen it a million times. We also get our sticker sheet. This whole thing is a sticker. It's got your start and end date and all of the pertinent information. And then over here, we do have stickers that you can take off and put directly onto your containers. And this one comes with 42 colors. Wow. Okay, I'm just gonna take a quick look here because she is, oh, these reds are to die for. So she does come with 42 colors and one AB. Anything 149 and under is going to be an AB. If you are new to diamond painting, AB stands for Aurora Borealis. And it is a drill that has um, a coating on top of it that makes it shimmer like the rainbow and lights up all of the other drills around it, even more so than they already are. Now, down here, at the very, very bottom, these are special drills. So if they have the letter before the numbers, these are what is considered your special drill. So this one's got the Zs. And these are going to be fairy dusts. And it's got an L, and I might get these mixed up. I'll know for sure when I actually look through the drills. The L's are the um, metallic coating, um, so they should actually like look metal. And then we have the K's, which I believe is the iridescence, and those are um, some people call them crystals, and they're kind of see-through, but they do have some colors, so they look like a glass drill. They're very pretty. So let's go through all the colors, show you what comes in her, and then I'm gonna show you where all these special drills go because that is a lot of them. And let me grab my flattener that I accidentally threw down on the ground. Because I'm like those one people, the island boys. I think of what their name was no. now. No? You're not. no? What was that name of that group where they threw it on the ground? It had Justin Timberlake in it. I can't remember the name. Something. Lonely Island. Lonely Island. How it was Island something. I note it. So there you go. Flattened out some of the air bubbles and let's get into these drills. <laughs> Let me tell you, after the last one I unboxed, yes. This one's so tiny and cute. All right, so we've got 9.38, two bags of those. We do have three bags of 310. We have three bags of 33.71. We have three bags of 8.14. We're having triples all over the place. We have 8.90, two bags of 9.39, 3.36, two bags of 4.98, 38.08. That is beautiful. And here is our first AB, which I was telling you about. How's that coating? And it lets you taste the rainbow. There we go. Isn't that pretty? And we have 991. Whoops. We have 823, 840, 841, 898, 38, 61, 779, 839, and 3787. That is an olive green. That is pretty. We have 3781, 935, 3021, 644, 33, 647, 3842, and here is the L, which is, sorry, this is the um, iridescent. Let me flip this over and you can see the crystal glass like quality that it has but it does have color so pretty excellent so i worked with these in my aries and they were just fantastically gorgeous over here we do have our k444 which is the metallic drills and i have a couple kits that have these but i haven't actually used one yet and I'm really excited about doing one with these metal drills because they look amazing. If you've done one with a lot of the metal drills, let me know how they feel working with them. 317, 413, 300, 3818, 438, 57. Here is our fairy dust Z992. Ooh, look at that. Those just popped right up at the front. They're like, hello, look at me, I'm gorgeous. 
I'm so sparkles. Pretty. And our next fairy dust, so we might as well not even zoom out, is Z368. And look at how light of a green that is. Oh, it's gorgeous. Zoom back out. We got $37.99, Let's see where all these beautiful special girls are going to be going. Huh? Oops. I feel bad. So we've got the number one, which is that red. And I'm sure that you can guess that that red is there, 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 all the way around her head. Um, so lots of that. And then our next drill is going to be the K444, which is the metal drill. I believe it's the metal drill. So the K, the little pen, is right here in her sword. Kind of goes up and a little bit on her collar. So right through here. And then the J, which is the iridescent, we have got that kind of flecked throughout all of this all of these little gold ones you're seeing are the iridescents so they're just kind of flecked around all of her and then we have our first fairy dust which is the k which is that really really light green and that is going to be up here so she's kind of got these lines coming out and that is going to be where that light green fairy dust is. And then her sword is that darker fairy dust. So the sword is going to be kind of directly across from her eyeballs. And they're just in a straight line and then directly up here. And it is both sides. So it just has these two short lines of that particular fairy dust. So this is... Once again, Memento Mori from Ricky Sophia Riken, and we are very excited to do her. Thank you so much for joining me today. Bye.